Hello everyone and welcome to a white out survival video. It's not an episode of the series what we've been covering but we're going to go over some features that when I've been playing it honestly I'm loving the aspects that you get as a control as an officer and stuff like that with the game. So let's go over some of the best features I honestly love when it comes to white out survival and why you should try it out and play it for yourselves. Hello, and yes, we're doing a really good video on Whiteout Survival, giving you some really good tips and basically the advantages of playing this game when you are trying it out for the first time and why I actually adore some of the techniques that you can do in this game. So right at the moment, we've got the hero leveling screen. So what you can do in this game, which is really cool, is when you first start out, you can obviously be leveling up whatever heroes you have fit because you do not get access to the drill camp, which does get unlocked a little bit later, around forge level 10, 11, or 12, when you get access to that. But when you do get it, what happens is it allows you to go back to any of those heroes or all of your heroes, which you should do, and reset their entire levels. That's a really weird thing to think of, but it's a very free thing you can do. And by doing it, you can reset their levels, as you can see there, and gain a massive amount of free XP. So what we can do right now is actually reset over 1.1 million XP on our Bahiti here. And by doing that, what we're gonna do is go to the drill camp and actually remove now our main guy. And the reason why we're removing him now is because he's gonna be level 40 as his current level. And by leveling him up, what happens is the drill camp takes the lowest level of the main five, as you can see right now. And with that main five, what it will do is it will boost up all the levels of the other heroes. So as you can see, every hero in my arsenal at the moment that's in the drill camp is level 40. So what I can do is then increase the level now of my Zin Man by one, two, three, four, five levels, let's go for. And now you can see all those heroes have just leveled up five times as well, and they still gain all of the stats that you would have at that level. So it's a really cool concept to have and really user friendly when you get understanding the concept of it. So let's level up another 47 times here. So we're gonna go to 47 at least on all of our heroes before we do any other push. Because then again, the whole drill camp is at 47, which is a really good thing to do because it keeps you on track with what you are obviously trying to focus on as your heroes. And the cool thing is, again, guys, you can be doing this sort of style. And when you get better leveled heroes in your epic department, that might be better than your legendary heroes. As you can see with what we did with Natalia down at the bottom, you can get rid of them and start using these main heroes again that you're gonna be using for your main five. So I hope that makes sense and that is a really cool concept in a game that I've not really seen anywhere else before that allows you to do free level resets and actually put your XP correctly in the same place as you need to and gain the benefit of it by using a drill camp average leveling out system. So that's the first reason why you should try to give out white out survival. And we're gonna go on to the next one, which is to do with some sort of Alliance events. So a really cool thing I really enjoyed about doing this entire season phase one fight, which was recorded in an episode, which you should check out soon when it does come out. Or if it is already out, check it out. But what you do is when you get the reward screen, you actually look at these rewards, you do gain a free controller's chest. And the cool thing is with the victory rewards, you get all of these allocatable rewards, which is a really cool concept because as an alliance, what you're able to do is actually go into the alliance menu when you are able to have these rewards allocated. And by doing so, you can actually choose any of the members 
and you have 40 chests and each player can have up to one chest right so you can't be greedy and hold them all for yourself which is really fair so you can give all the officers for example one and then you can give all the players that did turn up to the event the chests as well as a reward and an incentive for people to get on top of it when we look at the rewards as well for that same event you're going to be able to get some more allocatable rewards and that is true so right now we got some 100 as you can see 400 of these um, one hour time speed ups that was being able to be allocated and again this was allowing up to 10 of these speed ups to be allocated to one individual player meaning you can have 40 players get all 10 of these or you can try and spread it out as an alliance so what we did was try and spread it out where the main guys who were the garrison leaders and the main garrison players were all having the 10 as it, you would imagine then we split it up down to five and then all the remainder that was left over had three and two and those were generally the players that didn't show up for now but we might get rid of those rewards right because it's a really cool feature for an officer or even a leader to be able to allocate those rewards so when we go here you can see here these are the fortune rewards we were just talking about that the Alliance has decided to grant you the following rewards. So this is the allocatable things we were just talking about. And we just claim that and just for participating in that fortress raid which we claimed we're going to be able to get some rewards so i really do like that feature and again this is something that you're going to be progressing into because in six days time from now we're going to be able to do the same thing on this training facility which will give us a training percentage buff which is really good as well as some more rewards for our alliance so a really good feature i love the fact that you can do that with the alliance so far and we've all talking about alliances we are going to move on to the next feature that i do love about whiteout survival so when we're looking at the alliance menu i really do enjoy how the alliances are able to be really honestly very fluent and you can understand what's going on at all times in this game it's very simple as you can imagine from call of dragons you've got your tech tree which is split up into your three different techs that you can be obviously upgrading and as you come down these trees obviously it goes all the way down to the bottom that you can max out and all of these will increase your ranking and contribution level by obviously hitting the donation button. So by doing this, for example, our current contribution is 24.48. If we go to one of these, which we're able to hopefully donate into, which uh, obviously all of them are currently maxed out. Well, here we go. We can hit the donation button right now on screen. And by hitting that donation, we're gonna gain a bonus amount of chance. And obviously the officers as well who are in charge could, for example, click this tick and by clicking this tick it causes you to obviously have what you want as a major focus right so i really do enjoy that and i like the fact that you're able to actually choose and give rewards based on picking the right one with the thumbs up so with that you can see we actually got some coins at the top corner and that is just the same resource as in any games you can go to the shop and you have a today shop which you can buy stuff every day which obviously refreshes every 24 hours as well as a weekly shop here which you can buy some extras i always try and get the territory teleporter just in case you need to teleport back to your home base in case you're going on a little adventure but then there is also these training speed ups but the one thing you should try and save up for is the advanced teleporter that advanced teleporter is very crucial for your account it's going to allow you to teleport wherever you want in the game so if you need to get somewhere and fight you're going to be able to do that without any worry but with the Alliance menu too, which we like to see is the way it's broken down, right? You can see if there's an application list that people still are applying for. You can obviously see this list go down to all the applicants trying to join in our Alliance. Then from there, you can see them going into a rank one role. And this is only five members. So you can see you're not gonna be on rank one in this game for very long because it's all about progression as you can see so from here we can see we've got some players that have hit a really good milestone so what we can do and just simply just hit 
change rank just like that confirm they're gonna be in rank two same with these members on screen so congratulations if you're watching this video you are being promoted to rank two for hitting at least some power so we can see who is actually playing the game and who isn't and another cool feature as you can see when you are on you can see everyone who's online you can see how long ago they was online like eight hours ago for example so if you had a timer so if anyone was longer than say for two days you'd be able to see that on here and be able to obviously tell them like look we need you more active we're going to put you in potentially a academy alliance if you have one and give that space or spot to a member that wants to join your alliance that is more active Active and possibly maybe a stronger player. So really do like that structure as well. You've got your offices here, which you can tell are your main players that play the game day in and day out. And even as you can see, we've got some lower players here, but Akash is in the three days danger zone. So what we can do is change him back as a rank one. So that just shows how easy as an officer it is to actually navigate and use your alliance menu so you can do a little bit more you can imagine you can see all your territory you can see what's being built in your territory as well as any special buildings that's going on during the events obviously we need to reach certain ranks in order to get these cool buildings unlocked so we're going to see that hopefully in the future but in the bonus overview you can see how much you're basically generating you can go to the resource exchange when the historical season or your server has reached a total as you can see of 45 days so that's going to be really cool to check out but from here we're just going to see some chests that people have bought as well as claiming all the rewards you can imagine as an alliance gains and that major chest for working together at the very top which you all have in every sort of alliance based game so I really do like the alliance menu as you can see another really good reason why you should play it white out survival it has a lot of capabilities on how you can manage your alliance and obviously a load of customization with it as well if you go into obviously being the leader and choosing your different banner and name as well as tags so let's move on to the final reason why i really do enjoy playing this game and why you should guys try it out for yourself on the mobile app store so another reason why I really do enjoy this game, and it's a perfect game why I like playing it alongside Call of Dragons as the main content creator, as you can know for this channel, we do get so much AFK benefits. So right now, as you know, we've been playing Call of Dragons and we've come online and we've got so far, nearly as you can see, three hours idle time there. So by claiming that we've just gained 20, nearly 22K worth of xp plus nine thousand steel which is very important so when we go into like our city we're going to be able to go to the research center right now and click on any of our research and you can see the steel there at the bottom is only obtainable by buying it all through that exploration so it's very important for you guys to push that exploration whenever you can to give yourselves that big amount of steel as a reward and a real cool thing is as we were saying earlier with the heroes because we've been doing the afk route we've been able to go and get some free gear which we're able to use now to enhance our unit so now we've got a level five gear on our main guy zin man that we've been working on as you guys know through the episodes that you've been watching for the channel so with all that i hope you guys have been enjoying it and been enjoying this game so far it is a blast and as you can see it even gives you right there through the storehouse a afk almost reward for just logging back on every hour almost and you get some freebies compared to the daily one which you also get through the vip here you're able to obtain that by just clicking that chest at the very top and you can see it in the daily vip there we're going to do a video on vip because it works very different as well compared to most games so we will go into some other concepts if you want those types of videos too about what you want of the game so just hit a comment below if you've enjoyed it so far on why i honestly been enjoying white out survival and why there's some really cool concepts of this game that a lot of other games could take note of and maybe even add 
relate to their games when it comes to maybe rewards and allocations for alliances when it goes to those types of alliance events. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash a like, comment and subscribe. But until the next one, stay safe, stay sneaky. Peace out, everyone.